Hey folks, Twitcher Christian here. Today I'm putting out this emergency update concerning the platform Gate.io, the cryptocurrency trading platform. All right, now this is one of the platforms that I've discussed concerning some of the prophetic coins that we were actually able to get a hold of. And some of those included like Empire, Baby Doge, Floki, and a few others. But I'm getting ready to show you guys some information uh, to help guide you through this process of getting your coins out. Right now, the first thing is, is, you know, don't rush and plan how you're going to do this. People, people are already transferring stuff out and they're losing in their gas fees and all that. And I've shared with you guys over and over again about that and some of the ways you can avoid those gas fees when you're transferring cryptocurrency out. I'm going to go ahead and read this. And this is from the gate.io uh, user agreement where it says the use of service by users from the United States of America, mainland China, Canada, Singapore, Malaysia, Malta, Cuba, Iran, North Korea, Sudan, Syria, Venezuela, Crimea region, Bangladesh, Bolivia, Ecuador, and Kyrgyzstan is prohibited. So if you live in any of those areas and you sign up for gate, then you need to get your coins out. Now they have said that we have until April the 10th to get the coins out. So I recommend within the next 48 to 72 hours that you go ahead and get your coins out. For me, this is very frustrating because, you know, we, we, get, we have these prophetic coins and then, you know, they might be only available on this platform or that platform. And then next thing you know it, they're restricting people from the United States or even from different regions all around the world. And then you end up having to move it or sell it off and then, and then invest in something else because you can't get it in your area at all whatsoever. And as I've been sharing, I don't only talk to just the people that are in the West or America or Canada. There are people all around the world that I get messages from all the time asking about their region and what best platforms to get. And then most of them I don't even know. So if you are from Canada, especially the video that I'm getting ready to share with you, you guys need to listen. I have some additional information for those of you who live in Canada because it looks like I'm not from Canada, but it looks like they're going to be might be cracking down on other platforms or other platforms might pull out of Canada. You know, we do have a small world war going on and it's not just troops fighting. It's there's a cyber war going on out there. And before I forget, and I'm going to do a separate video on this. I noticed that I've got a lot more spam, uh, fake followers and all this stuff. So, folks, I think it's probably time for people to start changing all of their passwords. You know, get a notepad just for your passwords, for your different uh, platforms that you're using, you know, your bank accounts and all that stuff. And write it down as you change your passwords. But I'm going to get into another video about that. Uh, but this because the cyber war is escalating. So in a way, to me, this is kind of, this is really discouraging because, you know, you know, when you're trying to dig a well and then sometimes you have to stop digging a well or you have to wait and dig somewhere else to get to the same goal you know with regulations coming down the line here in the united states we don't know exactly how this is all going to go every platform that deals with cryptocurrency is at risk not servicing the united states or canada or any other areas they're all at risk and the safest way that you can store your coins is on a hard wallet right so anything that is online is hackable so the only thing that you could do to protect yourself is to one make sure you have all your security features on two constantly change your password or three you could just take all your coins off the exchange and put them on a hard wallet now if the price is going up and down and you want to take advantage of the pricing points you're going to have to have your coins on the exchange and transferring back and forth is going to is going to cost you a lot in gas fees so really our options are getting thinner and thinner and more expensive as time goes on. Also too, I did put together a gate.io restricting US Canada customer Google document and this is going to have information on uh, crypto for Canadians. But if you need to move your coins off, uh, there's some suggestions to save on your fees. And I'm going to show you guys how to look up any coin and try to figure out what platform it's on. Now I'm getting ready to show you a video from crypto for Canadians and he says some very important things in here especially if you live in Canada uh, because you guys might be restricted a whole lot more
than what we are here in the United States coming up here pretty soon. You know, I don't understand why we keep getting these prophetic words about these coins. And, you know, half the people in the world can't even get them in some cases. You know, or there's a lot of extra trouble. And, of course, I know we talked about digging wells, and sometimes it's not always going to be easy. But what I felt like God was sharing with me, all these different prophetic cryptocurrencies, it's not just for people here in the United States. These are for people all around the world. And whether you have access or not, there's always some type of prophetic coin that you get that you can get into. And there are prophetic coins that 99% of all people can get right now, like Shiba Inu, Doge, and a few others. Right across all platforms, there are some prophetic coins that everybody can get. And there's going to be some that we can't get. And then there's going to be some that people in other countries will be able to get. And they won't have access to some that we might have here in the West. So I have to remember that, you know, when I speak, I'm not speaking just to an American audience and a Canadian audience. I'm speaking to a worldwide audience. And I know that because people send me emails. Um, and I can also look at the stats to see which countries uh, where people are watching my videos. But I'm going to go ahead and play this uh Really quick video, and I'm going to stop and comment on some of the things that he's saying. But this is very important, especially if you live in Canada. And that's why I say, if you live in Canada, you might think about getting a Trezor or a Nano X wallet for just a case down the line. Hey there. So in this video, I'm going to quickly give a brief update and my thoughts on what's been happening with Gate.io. So if you didn't already know, Gate.io sent out an email to users saying that their account will be terminated because they've been identified as being in a restricted region. The email then goes on to say that you should withdraw your funds by April 10th and that after April 30th, the account will be permanently closed. Now, I personally didn't get this email, but that doesn't mean that it won't affect me either. The only reason why I found out about this is because people have been messaging me about this and asking me for my take on it. Now we can confirm this closure by either going to their user agreement document or sign up page. If you go to their sign up page, all of Canada and not just Ontario and Quebec like it used to be is included in their list of restricted regions. Now this Canada wide ban has got me thinking about the future of crypto in Canada. I suspect that this isn't a one off event. I actually suspect that other global exchanges like Binance or FTX or KuCoin will be banned all across Canada as well due to regulations. This means that these global exchanges will either need to create a Canadian specific division to meet those regulations or to pull out entirely. I personally think it'll be the latter just because it probably doesn't make sense economically or it's not feasible for them to do so considering how small the Canadian market is. However, I hope I'm wrong about that. All right, so one of the things that he says that he hadn't received the email yet. All right, so not everybody's going to get the email or people are going to miss the email. So that's why it's important I put out this video if you did not uh, get the email. The other thought was, I wonder even if you use a VPN, you know, how that is going to work. I would just be very, very, very careful if you're using a VPN to still try to use gate. I mean, I don't keep up with all the Canadian and crypto news, maybe just generally speaking, but it sounds like to me, uh, he's been saying that he believes that uh, this will not be the only time that this happens. And he believes that it's, it may happen to other global exchanges in the Canadian area. And he believes that most of them will probably just pull out entirely. So that's something to think about too as well. If you are using say Binance in Canada uh, or some of the other global platforms. I hope I'm wrong about that. Having said that, I'm going to share my thoughts on the quote unquote next steps. Now, if it's a coin that you can easily move out and don't mind paying for the transaction fee, then go and do that. As for where you should move those coins out to, that depends on the coin or chain the token is natively on. I can't give specific advice for thousands of coins slash tokens and based on your situation in this video. Now, if you're outside of Ontario and have access to Binance, you can always send the U. USDT off to Binance via TRC20 network for free. Otherwise, I think you're best to sell it for USDT and then buy XLM to transfer out to whichever exchange to then sell it. Now, I personally wouldn't hold off on sending out your coins because maybe Gate.io suspends coin withdrawals for whatever reason leading up to April 10th. And some of the platforms that I'm getting ready to share with you that have like Empire stuff on, 
uh, like L Bank, does not support XLM. All right, this is specifically for the United States. So uh, XLM is not supported on L Bank. So that's something to think about, and I'll kind of go over some other information when you're trying to find a place to put your coins at if you're not going to eventually move them to a hard ledger. And again, you want to try to move these coins within the next 48 to 72 hours. 10th. After you've got your coins off, it's time to reevaluate your options. The first option would be to continue using what's working until further notice. Just don't be surprised if you get a notice later on saying that they're going to have to leave the Canadian market. So say for instance, for whatever reason, I send Empire over to L Bank. Right. And then for some reason, L Bank decides that they're no longer going to service U.S. customers. So I'm going to have to figure out something else. So we'll have to move them again. And that's one of the things, folks. I don't know when this first run is really going to start to begin where all the cryptocurrencies are going up, you know, and we're, we see that rise to Shiba Inu to a dollar. And I'm suspecting since we're still in the pullback phase where these prices are pulling back from when we first started discussing this that I believe that we should be seeing the first wave hit us here really soon. So I haven't made the decision what I'm actually going to do with like my Empire tokens. I, I don't know yet. I haven't figured that part out yet. I have other prophetic coins that are on gate. They are available on other platforms. Uh, but that's just my whole evaluation and looking at everything and what I plan on doing in the future. Because if I do plan on just focusing on some of the, like maybe the top 10, you know, prophetic coins that, I don't have to worry about whether I'm going to be restricted or not. You know, I think we came up with a list of maybe 30 or 40 prophetic coins or something like that. Something absolutely insane. But there might be a time in the future we get through when we get to this crypto winter and all these coins are under either a dollar or under a penny and they're super cheap. And then that's when you'll see you'll be able to check your platform and see okay, which all prophetic coins are going to are available on my platforms that I can set up my buy limit orders on. Another option is to just stick with Canadian exchanges slash platforms to buy or trade on. These would include Virgo CX, Newton, ShakePay, and etc. Now, as for trading, I would say that Endax is probably the best Canadian crypto exchange, if I had to choose, that is. So you're talking about Endax? That is a Canadian-only uh, crypto exchange platform. So if you live in Canada, you want to take a look at that, see which coins are available, which ones you can transfer in. Um, that might be an option if you're in Canada and you're on other platforms besides Gate. You might be on a few others and the same thing starts happening. At least you'll have a platform you can start transferring stuff to, but they may not have all the same coins. So again, you might have to take those coins off your exchange and put them on a hard ledger. Use that is the third option is to use more decentralized exchanges like DYDX, Uniswap, and PancakeSwap. I will say that this isn't perfect though because of the lack of cross-chain compatibility. In addition, it'll be more expensive to execute the swaps as they're on-chain transactions, so you'll need the gas to execute them. All right, so he's talking about the swaps, and that's one of the reasons why I have not really begun to use those yet because it can be expensive to do that and but those are options you can use and but you can also maybe possibly use a hard wallet uh, metamask uh, works with like nano x Lastly, in addition to DEXs, using a centralized on-chain swap service may be of interest to you. I've actually made a video about a non-KYC one called Change Now, where I show you how you can use them to swap coins. If you're interested in that video, I'll leave a link to it in the video description. So those are pretty much my thoughts on this whole situation with Gate.io closing off to all of Canada. This really shouldn't be surprising to anyone though, because I did make a video last year about regulators coming down on these global crypto exchanges. I guess the disappointment though is that that day actually has come and it's a lot sooner than any of us wanted it to be and this would be especially true if you're new to crypto so ultimately what this means for us canadians is that we're going to have fewer options in terms of buying and trading coins or tokens and it'll be more expensive to do so if we want to anyways i hope you enjoyed this video or found it educational if you're interested in getting the most up-to-date and relevant content in the canadian crypto space check out www www.cryptoforcanadians.ca thanks for watching and i'll see you in another video bye for all right so folks make sure that if especially if you are in canada that you subscribe to him 
and I do have his links in my gate IO uh, Google document, which I'll go over. All right. So, and, and that's kind of the way that I feel about here in the United States that uh, we're going to have fewer coins, fewer coins or tokens to buy and trade, and it's going to be more expensive. And so it, this all depends how this all works out. You know, we got all this stuff going on, these crypto wars going on with Russia, Ukraine and all that. Uh, then you have China doing what they're doing to crypto, and then you have your flip-flopping on Russia and cryptocurrency. Definitely around this time period, we need to make sure to stay on our toes. And we just might have to forget about some of the prophetic tokens for now until they actually get added on to the different exchanges. All right, so I have this Google document, the Gate.io Restricting U.S. and Canada Customers. And I got, I got the website for Crypto for Canadians that's up there. Uh, first thing is don't panic. And plan your move of coins. Some of the prophetic tokens were on this platform. Some people have until April the 10th and accounts will be closed on April the 30th. So the first thing is don't panic and plan your move of coins. I've already seen that some of you guys have already quickly moved your coins off the exchange. And then you guys are getting hit with gas fees and so forth. Uh, like many other people do, use XLM or Dogecoin to transfer funds uh, to your other platform. So that way you're not really losing or losing as much when you're actually transferring your tokens. Some of the prophetic tokens run this platform. Customers have until April the 10th and will be closed on April the 30th. Okay, so my thoughts are on this. So when the next 72 hours, you should have all of your coins off of the exchange. Even if you are not in a restricted country, I would probably move your coins. To shut out the U.S. and bigger markets will be a huge loss for gate in the short and long term. In my opinion, this could be a part of retaliation that puts sanctions on on Russia, or they just don't want to deal with the SEC. We still haven't received an official word from Gate. They tried to do this secretly through emails without putting out any news or press releases or anything like that. So I think it's really, really fishy that they would do that. You would think that they would say, we apologize and that uh, for that we're right now we're going to restrict U.S. customers. Hopefully in the future, you know, we'll be able to serve U.S. and Canadian customers. No, they're not doing that. So they try, they're trying to do this quietly. Um, so I'm going to go over the gate swap. Okay, so if you're on gate already, uh, on the trading tab, you have flash swap. Now this is not going to be for all of your coins. Sometimes it also depends on your region. So there's only a limited number of coins that you can actually uh, swap to. So say, for instance, you want to swap your Sheev for Doge, so it'll be a lot cheaper. They don't have XLM on, on this particular option in my area here. So when I do move my coins, I'm either going to move them in either XLM or Doge, depending on where I'm sending them to. Now, of course, the other option is just to go ahead and you can spot trade it out for USDT and then sell off your USDT for XLM or Doge, and then transfer your coins. And also here I have the Exodus wallet, which is a good alternative. And then you have the, your Treasure wallet coin list and your Nano X coin list. And these are the wallets. These are the hard wallets that I was referring to. And I had the links to where you can actually look up uh, an asset to see if it's actually supported. Right, And just as an example, uh, some of these tokens that I'm getting ready to share, they're either on Bitmark, KuCoin, Bittrex, and LBank. On LBank, XLM is not available. So keep that in mind. Always check before you convert it over to there. So we have Baby Doge. So say, for instance, you want to find out the platforms where Baby Doge is on. Right? Then you click on Markets. You see XT. I've heard people using XT here in the United States. I'm not familiar with it at all whatsoever, but also keep in mind, folks, you might get the same email again at some point in the future. You might have to move it again. So that's what, this is why you have to plan it. Then you have Pancake Swap, and then you have L Bank. I'm not sure about BitTrue. I think I've heard, heard of BitTrue, but I haven't used it. And some, I think somebody else told me Coin X too as well, but I, I, I have no idea. You have to make sure to do the research on those. I'm just trying to find maybe some of the more well-known. I'm not sure if it's available on MetaMask either as well, if you can get it through MetaMask. Now, Empire Token, that's a really that's a really big one for me. This is one of the main reasons why I'm really disappointed. So when I look at uh, Empire Token, uh, LBank and XT, those are our only two options. LBank has about 
at least the value in the last 24 hours is around 54,000. Uh, XT is around 147,000. So there again, we have two two prophetic coins, L Bank and XT. Right now, are our only options as far as keeping it on an exchange. Baby Doge and Empire was not supported by the Nano Ledger or the Treasure Ledger. Jasmine was one of the more recent ones. Prophetic coin by um, Prophet of Solomon. Of course, Bitfinex, BitTrue, Bitrex, also too as well. So if you do want to get that, I don't think I'm going to focus on that one right now. Uh, CEX, coin, there's the Coinbase, and Crypto.com, and KuCoin. So there's a few platforms that if you are already on, you can transfer your Jasmine coins. I think um, I only have a little bit, and I'm just thinking about just putting it all into Shibu Inu anyway. Uh, Sun Token, which was another prophetic coin, which is available on KuCoin. And it's also available uh, BitTrue, BitMart. So I know people have a lot of concerns about BitMart because it was hacked, but their hack was a result of a private key being hacked or something like that. And then a lot of those people did not have any security features on uh, their accounts at all whatsoever. Every, every platform has its day when it comes to hack at some point. Uh, Floki Inu, when we talked about one of the smaller dogs, that I thought that it could be Floki Inu, L Bank, BitTrue, and BitMart. So, folks, it's, like I said, it's a real shame that this is actually happening, but keep in mind that it could happen to any platform at any time, especially because of regulations. And that the only way that you're really going to keep your coin secure is to put it on a hard wallet, but whatever you do, don't lose that either. Uh, once you lose that, it's, it's just like getting hacked. You don't have any coins left. You know, anything that is online is hackable. And just as a last warning, everything that's going on with the cyber war, folks, I would just say this. Just make sure you just start changing your passwords. Keep a notebook and start changing your passwords to everything that you have. And you might even consider uh, changing emails at some point. I think I did talk about that at one time. But make sure you write everything down right, so you don't lose anything from that. So, folks, that's all I have for today. So hopefully this won't happen to any other exchanges. And just keep in mind that we may not always have access to every single prophetic coin. There's always going to be opportunities. So I thank you guys for listening. God bless. TC out.